I'm Tara. Um, this is my husband, Jim. My name is Conchetta, and this is my husband, Charles. We've been married for 13 years. We've been married 53 years today. So we met in high school. Freshman year, we were in all seven classes together. I didn't know him until I was in high school. And um, he used to hang out at the candy store. So she passed by, I smiled at her, she was cute. I said, let me see what's going on here. We really didn't get along. Uh, he was the jokester of the class, wasn't really into school or any of that kind of stuff. We were next to each other in class, so I would go home and say, you know, Mom, there's this annoying boy in my class. He was very good looking. He and <laughs> no, <laughs> He still is. <laughs> but um, I had to be careful because everyone knew my mother, my aunt, they were telling me stay away from him. He's a playboy. I first thought that she liked me um, when she called me on a Friday afternoon for, about homework, which she knew I had no intentions of doing on a Friday afternoon. We were dating and I met these two girls that knew him and they're like, oh yeah, we date him on and off. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I said to him, you know what? You need to find out which one you want to be with. And then you can call me. The jig is up, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I realized that Tara was the one probably through our college years. Um, she was there through everything. She had my best interest in mind and it just made me a better person. She always felt honest to me and uh, eventually she wound up winning out. And I went to the service for two years. I sent her a lot of letters, <laughs> good uh, poems and stuff like that. I had to keep, so I'd keep her warm somehow. <laughs> the marriage seems to be getting better. I couldn't be happier. My name is Jenna. And I'm Jason. I'm Nancy and this is my husband David. We've been married for about five years. We've been married for 35 years. I was standing at the airport. I saw her and her sister standing over at baggage claim. And my girlfriend wanted to date David. So I set him up and kept going with this girl and uh, somehow <laughs> he came to me. I had a GW sweatshirt on. She goes, oh, do you know, did you go to GW? I said, yeah, I work there too. And she goes, oh, I work at the hospital. Her bag came out. She goes, all right, well, you know, I'll see you later. Bye. Never asked for my number. Oops. I would wind up dropping off the other girl first just so I could spend more time with Nancy. My friend Trish, who works over in the outpatient clinic, said, did you meet a guy named Jason at the airport yesterday? And I said, maybe, why? She asked me for a light. So I reached for my lighter and took it back and handed my hand with her. And our hands touched and didn't let go for, it seemed like, an eternity. I got a call from the president's office, Jason, we need you to come upstairs. She goes, I need to show you something, and she turns her computer screen around. I got you the girl's number, and called her, and five years later, here we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we've been married 35 years. We've raised two beautiful children. Uh, it just gets better and better. So we, where do we take our engagement photos? I wanted to do them in Georgetown, because it's very scenic and pretty, and he said, let's do it at the airport, and the pictures actually turned out amazing. Hi, I'm Brian. This is my wife, Debbie. I'm Sherry, and this is my husband, Eric. We've been together for 32 years. We've been married for eight years now. <laughs> we were both taking computer science classes. We met on a dating site. I would constantly sit directly behind Debbie because she was really easy to pick out because she was really the only blonde woman in the class. After our first date, I told my daughter he's boring. I'm not going to be talking to him anymore. <laughs> We were dating um, for about seven months, and then I switched and went to a different college. Well, I thought she had a really pretty smile, and uh, that's what got me hooked on her. I didn't have anybody to go out with, but the bonus was that my grades went up. It was funny because before I moved down here, all my friends were saying, oh, never get with a DC girl, never get with a DC girl. I'm like, why? Like, You'll understand when you get down there. Never. So the very next Valentine's Day, when I was at the other college, I hadn't gotten a Valentine's Day card from Brian, and I was rather upset. I was, you know, young in my 20s and very sentimental, and no call, no card, and I basically broke up with him on Valentine's Day. When I met her, I'm like, oh, this, this could work, you know, because I told myself I would never be married, and I look at it, I end up marrying somebody. So. About a year later, we reconnected at a wedding. And by then I had gotten over it. It did teach me an important lesson and not to basically take anything for granted. Since Eric normally works overnight, this is the first time that we've spent Valentine's Day together. I am pretty amazingly great at making sure that I always have essentially a Valentine's Day card for death. I will tend to get a funny card and then I will tend to get a serious card. 